Hi, this is Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, and I'm here with Neil McGovern, the Director of Marketing for the Capital Markets portion of Sybase. And the topic today is Sybase's acquisition of Alary. Um, Alary is a CEP provider. Sybase is certainly financial markets uh, leader in technology as well as database and data products. So, uh, Neil, talk to me a little bit about you know the acquisition. Why did you do it? Where does CEP fit within the Sybase strategy? Um, where are you headed? Okay, so um, this was a very good acquisition for uh, Sybase. It, uh, it helped us uh, in three major areas. Firstly, in uh, becoming real-time analytics leadership um, uh, in market leader. The um, <clears throat> we see that uh, CEP is a comp key component of uh, real-time analytics and Olary's uh, customer base and the fact that they'd acquired Correlate, who's, you know, we actually based our Sybase CP product on the Correlate engine. Mm -hmm. It was a very good match from that perspective. We get, uh, we combine the customer bases. We're going to uh, merge the two products together and have a single product for those customers in the future uh, following Olary's strategy. So market leadership was one of the first. Secondly, um, Larry had developed a, a series of, of applications based around market liquidity and liquidity risk, and uh, we believe that this, these applications are going to be key to uh, the industry, the financial services industry, the capital markets industry um, uh, in the future. And we hope to, to enhance these applications and maybe develop more of those. And then thirdly, um, Alary had some technology as part of their CEP that was actually beyond what Sybase had from the Correlate uh, acquisition of the, of the uh, Correlate code in uh, Q1 of 2009. And in the areas of adapters, as Alary has just mm -hmm. a lot of adapters that we didn't have, and, a, and also a very good graphical user interface. The performance benchmark was Stack, uh, Stack A1 benchmark that's been unchallenged for two years. So um, market leadership, the new applications, and uh, stronger CEP, combined CEP products are stronger than uh, separate was, was very interesting. 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 So so now we've got you know the wrap product, which really um, uh, pushes events out into the market. We've got the CEP infrastructure that, that, that reads these events and figures out what to do with them. And then you have, have a set of you know, templated applications, basically, that help folks with managing risk, managing liquidity, managing um, you know, uh, other applications within you know, the, the banking and financial markets right. vertical space. So is that, you, you see that extending? Yes, we do. So <clears throat> that's an interesting point. Firstly, we, uh, we'll, we will be looking at uh, opportunities for applications within capital markets and within financial services. But we see real-time analytics as being something that is being led by capital markets, but will be a requirement for all businesses across all verticals mm -hmm. in the future. We think that um, that organizations that uh, realize they need to adopt real-time analytics technology will look to the, the capital markets and the, the, the organization that's showing leadership in capital markets we think will be the default choice for many of these companies in the future and that's a position Sybase wants to have. So you're seeing this infrastructure really scale horizontally so taking your leadership in capital markets getting a better facility with real-time data as well as applications and then scaling it out to other industries um, besides financial markets and financial services. Yes, that's uh, exactly the model. I mean, th if you look at what happened in, in capital markets, first it was uh, it was just the infrastructure and uh, people used that infrastructure to gain a competitive advantage. Now in capital markets, as it's matured, they're looking for end-to-end -end solutions like the Alary uh, applications and mm -hmm. uh, Sybase's applications. So we probably see the same, uh, uh, the, the market leaders, the forward thinkers in uh, say retail or telecommunications or you know, web hosting, web com based companies will first look at this technology to give themselves incremental leadership and then as it becomes more established again they'll start to look for end-to-end -end solutions based on real-time analytics. So I think the same model will play itself out. And, Very. You know. Very interesting. Um, I, and to a certain extent, I think Tab Group agrees with that. If you look at the whole idea of, you know, uh, Moore's curve, Medcalf's, or Moore's law, Medcalf's law, cost of technology goes down, processing power goes up, bandwidth goes, you know, increases, cost of bandwidth goes down, more and more data, 
need to really understand these events in, in real time. We think it's you know pretty much a you know, pretty easy from a from a you know armchair analyst standpoint to say this technology only goes further. And with that, I want to thank Neil McGovern, Director of Marketing for Capital Markets at, at Sybase, uh, and me, I'm Larry Tab, CEO uh, of Tab Group, and want to thank you for joining Tab Forum. Thank you, Larry.